Hi, I'm here with Jason. Let's talk about the kites and bars. Right on, Alexis. So we're gonna roll through our uh, liquid force response bar. We'll do that first. Uh, so we have the response bar here. Uh, what we did for 2015 and now carried over to 2016 is a single size bar that's adjustable. Uh, so in its largest setting, it's 56 centimeters uh, attachment point to attachment point. Um, those can be easily rotated in on both sides here, pushing these two outer tabs uh, and simply rotating in. So now we have a 46 cm bar, so full 10 cm change, uh, which we're really stoked on, carries through all the kite sizes. Uh, on the response bar as well, we've got an awesome uh, molded EVA grip here, which is um, ergonomic in the back, so you have a little bump out area that rests nicely in the, the curve of your hands. Also allows you to tell if the bar is backwards, so if you do grab the bar upside down, you can feel that that's in the palm of your hand, so sort of dual purpose function there. We've got our logos here on the top, response and liquid force, so again, you get a little visual cue that you're holding the proper size. And uh, we have our nice orange and black coloration, so orange is on the left with that bright colorway carrying all the way up for safety. Uh, when you look at the uh, center line or main line connection here, uh, we've got our push away release chicken loop, um, which has a flagging line attachment for your leash in the middle here. You can either run that uh, through the chicken loop if you're kind of the wake style guy that's unhooking and you want to have that ability to let go of your bar and not have it flag out. Or if you're a little more safety conscious and you're just uh, kind of you know, not throwing as many unhooked tricks, you kind of run it there just so it's easy to flag out when you release. Good safety wise, our safety pin here, a uh, nice molded piece that keeps your chicken loop hooked in there. Um, and then if we follow the way up, we have our flagging line that runs through the center here of our double main line. This double main line is for adjustability. So again, if we follow the main line all the way up to the cleat here, we've got our power trim cleat which allows you to you know, sheet in and out and set your sheeting, a little Velcro there to hold the, the loop up, but uh, say you're a female rider with shorter arms, a younger kid, uh, a guy who doesn't want as much throw, you can pull uh, this cleat either up or down on your line here to adjust the throw that you have and or the deep power that you have on top. That slack is then uh, taken up at the bottom here works its way through, and you've now adjusted your cleat, right? So we have an adjustable cleat box, which is awesome. We've got a swivel up here above that, which your flagging line rests in. Again, part of the safety system. Also helps keep your center lines untwisted, which is a nice little feature. Um, and then we've got our molded, uh, kind of TPU over molded plastic winders, a little soft end here, so you don't damage yourself or your board, but have a nice solid area to keep your lines wound on, as well as a retractable bungee uh, to cover them over here when you're all wound up. Um, sliding stopper ball, just to allow you to adjust your trim if you want to kind of be able to take your hands off the bar. Uh, and then the bar comes complete with our uh, updated orange and black leash. Uh, we do offer an accessory leash, which is a bit longer for the handle pass, kind of wake style riders, but it comes with a shorter, more all-purpose leash. Also, uh, you know, it has a quick release built in for safety. Uh, and that is our response bar for 2016. Awesome. Let's move on to the kites. All right. Uh, so, we have uh, four kites, four main kites in our line this year. Uh, three are on display here at Expo. Uh, we can talk about... Uh, Basically, our line consists of the Envy, which has been our bread and butter kite for many years now. The Solo, which we're in now Solo V2, which has gotten a good upgrade for this year and has been a really, really uh, kind of sneaker kite for us that we didn't think would take off as well as it did. The Wow, which is a, uh, was a new kite for us, mid-season release in 2015, is now carrying through this 2016 season, which uh, we did develop as a wave riding kite, but found that it's an amazing boosting kite, works great for foiling, because it goes up wind amazingly well and is easy to place where you want to in the wind window. And then we have the Hi-Fi X, uh, which again is much like Christoph Tack and his board that we went through earlier, is his kite of choice uh, for that competition-based sea kite fifth line, sort of traditional freestyle type kite. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the Envy. Uh, the Envy for 2016 did get a bit of an upgrade. 
Um, we have a bridle adjustability this year where you can tune your bridle a bit more to uh, your personal preference. So it comes, it has three adjustable settings uh, out near the last attachment point uh, near the bend of the wingtip. The middle one is what it comes on the stock setting. You can then uh, move the bridle further up, which will uh, flatten the kite out a bit, make it pivot a bit more. Uh, or you can move it further down, which will make it a bit more C-shaped uh, and make the kite sort of um, have a little bit more freestyle characteristic to it. So again, it's a rider personal preference. Uh, I love that middle setting, but that's a nice thing that we can do for adjustability on the kite now. Uh, also, uh, we've continued to reduce the Dacron, which we've been doing now for a few years now. We learned that we didn't quite need it for uh, the strength that we thought we needed, uh, and we also found that it can reduce weight a lot. So, reduce Dacron in the wingtips, uh, and along the trailing edge, we've continued to use what's called our layered frame canopy, which with reduction of Dacron, we replaced it with adding sort of a mark cloth transition. So rather going from a thin canopy material to a thick Dacron, we now have this mark cloth, which is somewhere in the middle, and it helps disperse that load and make for much smoother canopy, much less wrinkles, and just a more structurally sound connection between those different materials. Uh, so that carries throughout our leading edge to canopy connections and all the way back through the struts uh, and the trailing edge connection as well. Um, the NV is our three, three strut kite platform uh, that's been proven uh, to do really well for us. We've reduced the leading edge diameter a little bit for, uh, again, a little bit better upwind ability, sits a little further in the wind window, um, and with that adjustability of the bridle, you can sort of manipulate where you have it sit if you want it to kind of sit further back like it used to. Um, the Envy again, sort of our bread and butter kite, the Swiss Army knife or do anything kite, Brandon Shide's kite of choice for freestyle, I still love it for the waves, uh, you have people that go out and boost on it so it does everything. Um, so we'll move from that onto our solo, again this is solo V2, biggest change for the solo this year is uh, we have a new bridle configuration. So we figured out a new bridle configuration to make the, the bridle shorter overall, which is always good. Reduction of bridle, less likelihood of something tangling, um, less of that thick bridle line that's flying through the air to create drag. Uh, and we found a bridle that makes the kite a bit more snappy. So uh, the overall shape has not drastically changed. The wingtips have, have, have a little bit more sweep in them, again, to create that snappy turn but it's still a single strut platform, so only one single strut in the center, hence the name Solo. Uh, nice continuous curve in the leading edge. Uh, the canopy, um, we have added a wavy trailing edge uh, to just help with a little bit of the durability without having those struts. There's a little bit more um, flutter in that canopy material just based on the lack of structural rigidity. So the wavy trailing edge, which is another feature that's on the Envy as well, has added what's called better laminar flow, so it helps the, the turbulent air that's created by the drag of the leading edge reconnect, so it adds for a little bit quicker kite. It also adds for better durability of the trailing edge uh, and just adds a nice little different aesthetic look to it as well. Uh, and the Solo V2 has been awesome. It packs down where you can fit about three kites into the space of a normal one-size kite. Uh, so for travel, it's amazing. A lot of guys that, that travel for surf and just like to carry a kite or two with them, love it. Um, your kind of general lawn mowing, just weekend warrior kiters love it. You got guys that just want the simplicity of the ease of pumping up, they love it. The foilers love it. And uh, we've added a 17.5 wow. for the super light wind kiters. We have the 15.5, which is great. The 17.5 has been amazing. It also has a flying line bridle, so for greater reduction of drag. Uh, and that is uh, sort of the Solo V2 in a nutshell, uh, which has been awesome. And then uh, for what we have on display here, last but not least, we can talk about the WOW, which has been, uh, I don't know if you've ridden the WOWs at all? Yeah. You like the WOWs? Yeah. We got a lot of WOW in the WOW right now. Um, I've personally gone to riding them almost... Uh, exclusively? To, not exclusively, <laughs> but probably about... 90% of the time, That's you know, exclusive. amazing for foiling, uh, for twin tip riding, and especially for surf riding. Uh, key features of the WOW are much uh, smaller diameter leading edge, and that really where we found it gets most of its magic. Um, 
effortless to edge it out of the wind window. Effortless again when you're on a on a on a wave when you want to kill that power of the kite and surf the wave. Yeah. Um, it also has a characteristic with that small leading edge in the bridle configuration to pivot really well. Yeah. So you can get the kite to pivot and or to turn or loop without necessarily pulling you. So if you want to you know, you see a section you want to hit and you want to place yourself down the line, you can do that. If you're on a foil and you're carrying speed through a turn, you need to manipul manipulate your kite to be somewhere a little bit further downwind, you can do it really quick without getting that burst of power. Um, and then we found just all these same characteristics help it in jumping really high. It doesn't have that resistance and travels through the wind window, so it pulls you up really hard and doesn't necessarily just drop you out of the sky. So again, yeah, it just has this nice drift and glide, the same drift that you seek out for either going downwind on a foil or down the line on a wave also translates to pulling you on a nice little glide and well-landed jump. So um, it is, again, uh, it might cross a little bit into the minds of the Envy on who could go with what, but I would say if you cater to wave riding and or hydrofoiling a little more than you're on your twin tip and throwing freestyle stuff, the wow is for you. Um, you know, and then if you cater a little bit more towards the freestyle side of things, uh, and a little less to the surf or the foiling, the Envy might be for you. Uh, the WOW also has the rider adjustability on the bridle. So again, you can tune in that bridle to, to make your kite sit where you want or perform how you want. Um, we do tune it to come on the middle or stock setting. Uh, we feel that's a really, really good starting point, and then you can sort of uh, play with it from there, either flattening the kite out or pulling the kite into more of a C shape. Um, and the WOW rounds out our full line of kites with the Hi-Fi X, uh, the Envy, the Solo, and the WOW for 2016. So where can they find more info on all the sizes and all the rest of the technical features? So all of the sizes, uh, our story about our materials, our story on our tech, and all the details can be found at liquidforcekites.com. Uh, get over there, check it out, and hopefully you uh, get our kites on the water. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you.